Hey everyone, Seawo Bowtie here with another episode of Dangerous Hunt 2011. That's not a lot of health, but cool. Just don't hurt me, bats. Oh, come on, really? <sighs> More are probably going to come out around the corner. Saw you with my vision. <sighs> okay. Ow, crap bats. Crappy bats. A oh, crappy bat. Crap, I don't... I hate turning that on by accident because my thumb's on the A and I'm like, tighten my grip on the... Oh, God. Okay. I know more coming. What the heck is that? Something I need to focus on? Like, what the hey? Oh, goodness gracious! Sneaking up behind me. Great, my health is really low. Okay. Dr. Elbert has ordered the destruction of all research materials related to the Nightfall program. Bear the thought of all of our work being erased. I've arranged for one of the hunters, an American named Rainsford, to smuggle some of my files out of the country. Mm. With that data, I should be able to resurrect the program at a later date. Greed. Like, I see potential in this. Why shouldn't I do this? Because you don't know... If you're trying to destroy something, granted, it is probably bad. I'm about to level up, but I'm not going to level up in time, am I? Gosh, I'm almost... Okay, Branch, thank you. Ooh! Well, speaking of... Needing some ammo. <laughs> no, Oh, okay. Okay, whoo! Man, 28% of the level. Golly, I feel bad. Also, I only got two of the three journals. Wow. Okay. Gosh, we're not even like, what, four minutes into this? Alright. I think this is the end. So, here we go. I don't know in a few seconds. I stepped through the trap door and emerged in the hall of my father's house. In that moment, I felt a strange mixture of horror and relief. My worst fears had been realized, but I knew then that I had finally reached the end of my journey. One way or another, the nightmare would soon be over. Yep, in, in a weird way. All right, this is going to be fun. Hello! <laughs> I 
Oh gosh. Oh. I'm trying my best. Ah crap. Not in the get into the corners. Oh gosh, really? I'm... Oh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Switch weapons! Am I alive? I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't be. Ah! Oh, dang it! I got him past half. Oh! Also, be honest. When I first played this, I was like, "Holy crap, he's scary!" Then, like a year later, when I played it again, I was like, "Oh, he's not that scary." Like when you think of like a lab test animal, you think, "Oh, like they're gonna be." Like gnarly and like spines and stuff coming out of them. I don't know, but me. Yeah. It is what it is. All right. So let's do this again, but do it smarter. Oh, so there is a buffalo um horn I could get, but okay. Let's see. Him. Crap. Cool. Crap! Really? <laughs> How did I not pick up the health that I wanted to get? I knew. He Doing terrible this time. Okay, switch weapons. I got stuck in a corner. So don't get stuck in a corner. Okay, so I just need to keep moving around the room to get this guy off my tail. Bam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crap, I'm in the fire, I'm in the fire. Okay, granted, I don't know where. Th Crap, I missed his heart. Oh! Didn't mean to pick that up, that's fine. Oh! Oh crap, I, I was like, he's not coming right in front of me, he's coming to my right! Crap, 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 fudge! I need to find help. No, no, no! Wait, did that give me extra health? Oh my gosh. Crud, really? Oh. Did I die to the fire? Ugh, okay. Ah, my hand. 
Okay. So move around, but watch out for the. I I think if I just stay around one podium or on um, one display of the animals, I should be fine. Okay. I ran into the fire. Great job, me. Also, I picked up a health pack. Great job, me. I don't know why I'm actually dodging in real life for this. Move. I don't know where he is. I'm, I'm almost dead. I gotta get these health. Good job, me. Get out of the fire, Carter. Switch no automatic. I ah. Uh, no 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 no. Health, health, oh gosh. I gotta get health, I gotta get health, I gotta get health. Come on. Come on. Yes. I've almost got him, I've almost got him. Hey, crap. Oh. Oh. Oh! Wait. Okay. Once again, when you leave a small sliver, does. Okay, well, granted, he's not dead until now, apparently. Holy moly, did I actually beat this game? Oh my gosh, that was so crazy. Also, there I am. Oh my gosh, it looks like freaking middle, middle school me. Uh, here's our story. I'm the last one alive. To keep the legacy going and not making the same mistakes. There's a marksman target in here? What? I know the experience item, which is a buffalo horn, which I was looking for at the last second, but I was not going to happen. Also, only two minutes? That did not just take me only two minutes. Pretty sure like this whole episode is like 13 minutes long, but... We're done! That's the end of this series! Ugh, gosh. Still a fun game to play. Uh be honest, actually today, um when the um commenters um or view when you guys I should say, because I'm pretty sure it's a new subscriber actually at at this time. Um when the video went out of me playing this and uploading it. You're like, oh my gosh, please play more of this. I'm like, heck yeah. Don't worry, there's like six more episodes coming out soon. So, cool. But, I, I really... I, I really like this game. However, once again, the... The sonar or the... Tracking ability of just going 3D looking mode. Like original 3D looking mode of um having to wear the like the blue and red glasses to see everything popping right at you um just it's not a good look however I can understand like oh you want to like cause them not to see exactly what you're seeing once again like make everything go darker and do like a radar kind of like thing like oh Granted, that's kind of more, like, sci-fi or technological instead of, like, oh, these are my human senses kind of deal. You don't have to do the radar. I'm just suggesting it. Or, like, do what you were doing with, like, creating a, um eye hole um, kind of effect around the screen to, like, only allow a certain amount of um, area to be seen. But, like, darken it. Don't change the color. It just doesn't, it doesn't help at all. Um, one, I mean, the, I would complain about the aiming thing, however, really, it's, 
the Wii. The Wii had certain things that were great and good, and there other things that were just like, oh. But, I mean, for... I, th I think a lot of the, um... I forget how you pronounce it, the actual company that makes these games, or made these games, um, the Dangerous Hunts, um... They did a lot of them through, like, the Wii system. Because I have another one. I have, um, like, way, I think, a 2006 one. I mean, if you guys wanted me to play that, I mean, one, it is. It's crappy. <laughs> and, um, I think I only got to the mountain lion part of that because, holy moly, like, you die like that. And granted, and also it kind of looks like a um, arcade cabinet shooter game. Like, oh, you got to put a, a really a quarter eater. Well, yeah, it was, it was kind of looked like a quarter eater in the sense of like, oh, if you don't succeed, you lose a life kind of deal, and you have to put another quarter in to continue on the levels. But yeah, um, to be honest, I don't know if this has gone over more and more or not. But I'd, I don't want to skip anything. But at the same, uh, you know what? Just get congratulations. You have completed story mode for a challenge worthy of the master hunter. Play through the story again at hard mode and unlock expert shooting galleries. I remember this. That's why I played it multiple times. Played it more than twice. One get into the hard mode, which holy moly, hard mode is hard. <laughs> Hey, subscribe, like, comment, and subscribe kind of thing. Like, yeah. But apparently, I'm going to have to start doing that in the middle of my um, stuff if I continue doing this. With that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.